Hello everybody and welcome to Poland Daily Travel. And this is a really great town. Tarnów in Małopolska in Little Poland. It is uh, about 70, I don't know how many miles actually. So it seems like it's about an hour drive uh, from uh, Krakow to the, uh, to the, I don't know, which direction is the west. I think it's there, yeah. Sun's going down, it's that way. And to the east, Lviv or Lviv. Formerly a Polish town, now firmly ensconced on the eastern, sorry, on the western edge of the Ukraine, of Ukraine. And uh, what else can I say? You can tell by my appearance, it's not cold. In fact, Tarnoff has the warmest year-round temperatures in Poland. That's right, it's the warmest place in Poland. Not a lot of people know that, but you know it now. And uh, I just walked down from the uh, this pretty little street. I've never been here before. Never been here before. So I'm seeing it just like you are. And I really like doing that. In fact, the entire of the old town is perfectly preserved. What I mean is it was never destroyed in World War II or World War I. And it's a city with a history of, of a mixture of cultures. You see a lot of Polish architecture here, which is fantastic. And you also see, uh, you'll see influences of, of Jewish culture and Austrian and German uh, culture as well. This being a big crossroad, still a big crossroads for trucking and uh, train, uh, movement of train, uh, goods on trains between uh, the east and the west. Krakow being, uh, <clears throat> I suppose, uh, for his, the furthest point uh, uh, west on the usual route and Lviv being on the, others, uh, on the other end. So it's an important southern route. Uh, in, in Poland. But isn't this a marvelous square? There's the tourist information over there. It's probably closed. No, it's open. I think I'm going to go in there. I'm going to take a break and I'm going to go into the tourist information place. Because, you know, it's always a good idea to stop at the tourist. It doesn't matter if you're a know-it-all, if you're a professor of, uh, of the history of Tarnoff. It's still good to stop in the tourist uh, place and talk to the people. And it's usually on the square in towns uh, in Poland or in this part of central Europe. Uh, we've come actually on, on the other side of the square, so you get a picture of this amazing town hall um, built in the Middle Ages and then, uh, and then uh, restyled by Giovanni Maria Padova, famous Italian architect in the Renaissance in the 1500s, middle 1500s. In fact, most of these tenement buildings uh, were built in the uh, 1500s on this side. So this is your your basic Renaissance square. Now, the interesting thing about Tarnoff is it was a private town uh, for a very long time, up until, I believe, the 1700s. It was a private town. It takes its name from the family, the Tarnowski family, and a fellow who was called the Grand Hetman, Mr. Jan Tarnowski. In the church here, you'll find uh, uh, the tombs to the Tarnowski family, which, of course, uh, Jan Tarnowski is the one who who started this town and, 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 and built a, uh, uh, I mean, it was his town effectively, and uh, was a bulwark protecting a, uh, the, uh, a, uh, it was a easterly defense of Krakow against the invasions by the, um, the Tatars, because the Tatars were running over here all the time. Right, so beautifully constructed, many, many centuries ago, over decades, carefully put together, and you can see it in the construction. Yeah, it was uh, quite a thing, wasn't it? Cobalt sky and the beautiful spire of this uh, ancient church. You can see by the bricks, I mean, this was carefully, beautifully constructed many centuries ago. Um, this is mostly Renaissance. These, these buildings I'm looking at. And the wall was about almost a kilometer long. So this holds the uh, diocese uh, museum. And you see we have a very pretty medieval street here. Just as we were filming this, someone came and, and parked a, a rather modern, modern vehicle right in the middle of our shot, but never mind, um, right in front of the church. You see, you want to make sure you get as close to the entrance as possible, I guess. Walking would not be good. Um, this is the entrance to the diocesan 
museum, and this is the biggest uh, museum of its kind in Poland, and it has some very interesting uh, pictures inside and uh, religious type stuff. Oh, it's open. That says Odwarta, that means open. So they just wanted us to know that we could come in perhaps. So it's very nice. I mean, this, the art here is absolutely priceless. I mean, you won't believe what you see when you come here. By all means, if you come to Tarnoff, you must come here just to, to soak in the atmosphere. They even put on some nice Gregorian chant. But I want to say a word briefly about this particular painting. This is uh, the most uh, renowned and valuable piece that's I mean, it's hard, you can't put a value on the stuff here. This, this great collection of Gothic and Renaissance art, uh, medieval blending with the Renaissance. You can see the change actually in the, in the pieces of art. So it's, it is very exciting if you like this sort of thing, and I do. Um, but it's hard not to be impressed by something such as this, which you see the mixture of the Siena style with, with the Dutch style, and uh, even a, a touch in the uh, halo around Christ set of, of Bohemian, of Czech uh, art. So it's a, it's a really interesting mixture that you see in this particular, this particular painting. And, and then we can just walk by, if you will, um, these are more pictures of the suffering of Christ. And, uh, and then you see the beautiful altar pieces. I mean, uh, it's just, un it's impossible to tell you how beautiful this is and the value. Uh, both uh, spiritually uh, and uh, historically of, of these pieces, let alone the, the, the monetary value, how much they're worth, if you could, if you could put a value on it. Um, I'm sure the church doesn't, isn't able to do that. And then again, another altar and another altar piece. So it really is a wonderful thing. Please come and visit when you're in Tarnoff. And uh, remember that the Ministry of, uh, of Children and Sport is also a, uh, involved in sponsoring this particular museum, the oldest museum, the most extensive collection in all of Warsaw and one of the best, if not the best, in the whole region of Central Europe. Okay, we uh, were showing you the inside of the Diocesan Museum and uh, they were very kind to let us to let us in to let us film just showing up like that because this is an invaluable uh, collection of invaluable uh, masterpieces of religious art that you won't find uh, anything quite like it uh, anywhere else in the country and uh, so a, a big reclama for the diocesan museum the church is right here and it's really a narrow medieval slicket. Behind this would have been the walls of the old medieval town. This is the old house, uh, oldest house here. It's from the early 1500s. And it's been part, it was given by the family who built it, Mikowajowicz, uh, Mikowajo, oh, it's Ski, Mik Mikowajowski. This house is the end of the museum. So the museum is all the way down here. Um, from here down to the other end and the other old brick house. Anyway, so it's nice Renaissance stuff, Renaissance and Gothic, you can see here. Um, you've got the nice Gothic arch here and an ancient door. I mean, this door is a masterpiece itself. They tarted it up by embellishing with Renaissance touches. We've come down here and quite appropriately, this is where the synagogue was just down the hill from the church. And behind me you'll see remnants of the old wall. So we got remnants of the old wall, which are the best preserved parts of it, uh, apart from where we were, which is the backs of those houses. Um, this is the best freestanding section of the wall right here. And you can also see uh, a memorial, which is what's left of the uh, Jewish uh, synagogue, which is just over here. That is the remnant, all that's left of the synagogue. And this is the square uh, to the memorial of, of the synagogue that used to be here. I won't go into the history of why it's not here because it's called World War II. And I think everyone uh, knows uh, what happened to the Jewish people during the war here in Poland and who did it unto them. Um, so, uh, but this is what's left. And then you have a history of Jews and Tarnoff uh, over here and several placards. I think it's all in Polish though. No, no, it's not. 
It's also in English. Oh, and there's a Jewish Heritage Center if you want to go in and, and uh, find out about the Jewish culture here in uh, Tarnoff.